Hi, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at the MacBook 12 from 2015. This is the thinnest model of MacBooks you can buy. Um, it is even lighter and thinner than the current MacBook Air versions. As you can see here, it's very thin. This is a jack port on the right side. And on the left side, we have nothing but a USB-C port for charging the device. And on the back, nothing but metal. And on the bottom, also not much to see. Just a metal lid that you can open up if you want to make some repairs. And if we turn it around again and open it, we see here that the MacBook is on. It's ready for installation. Here we have the keyboard um, and this model have some known issues with the keyboard being uh, sticky um, where many keys are stuck. Uh, something to keep in mind if you want to purchase this model, <clears throat> this thin MacBook 12 that you you need to have some kind of way that you can uh, clean out uh, the stuff that sits underneath uh, the keyboard um, buttons here uh, to make them functioning again. Uh, you can you can still type on the keyboard when uh, these are stuck, but um, it's not very um, it's not very practical. So if you don't know how to fix that issue on a particular model, I would not suggest uh, buying this model. You have to f either know someone or know yourself how to fix it. Other than that, this model is perfectly working uh, still today, uh, being seven years old. Um, when I bought it, I changed the battery. So removing this bottom piece, there are many battery, um, individual ba battery parts that you have to uh, remove very carefully. This is not an easy task uh, compared to other laptops where you can just uh, like click a battery off on the back or just uh, remove the battery uh, instantly after uh, taking the uh, bottom lid off. This is not the case. All the battery parts are glued um, to the bottom part here. So they will have to be um, kind of um, removed by uh, having a flat plastic tool um, sticking it in between the bat battery and the bottom lid while uh, dragging with uh, the other hand um, forcefully but, but not too forcefully. So the process can be messed up uh, if you if you don't um, if, if you're not patient doing it. Um, I personally, with no experience, I did it uh, with without uh, destroying anything. It took me about, I think, two to three hours completing changing the battery to a new battery. Um, and now the machine is working perfectly as it should. Um, so, yeah, that's probably something you would have to uh, do. If you buy the machine used, 
changing the battery. So just keep in mind that it is a task that requires some either a lot of experience uh, or just that you are very patient in the process and know that it will take hours to complete. It has a retina display, a very nice display. Uh, I would say it's the perfect computer for uh, studying and taking notes, browsing the web, watching Netflix, uh, just doing uh, stuff on the go, being uh, in a train, uh, traveling, having this on your lap, you can barely feel it on your lap. I can just lift it up like this because it's super light and super thin. Um, yeah, I think that was it for now. Thank you for watching and bye.